is an example for a force coupled system. And in this particular example, what we want to do is to reduce two forces that are applied on a rigid body to a single force in a moment. So let's say that I have a beam here that is somewhere attached to a wall and somewhere in here we have a force that is 200 pounds let's call that F1 and over here on the right we have a another force Call that F2, which is 100 pounds. Now we know the relationship on this force. This is 3, 4, 5. So we can calculate our components. And we also know the distance between the wall and the first force. That is going to be 3 feet and the first and the second force, that's going to be four feet. I'll be out of scale, but that's okay. We have a point A, and the goal of this exercise is to reduce these two forces into a force couple system at A. Force couple system at A. And it's supposed to be a five. I don't know why it's not working. All right, so reduce the system of forces to a force couple system at A. All right, very good. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to write those forces in Cartesian vector form just to have uh, the components. Uh, we can also do it with the particular components and do the scalar analysis. Um, um, so either way is going to work. Actually, let's do, let's do this in a scalar analysis. Um, so we, we have this F1. I'm going to say that if I have my X direction this, this way and have my Y direction that way, if I say um, that my F1, right, in Cartesian vector form is gonna be my F1xi plus F1yj, I can work with this F1x and Fyy rather than the whole vector. So I can say that my F1x is zero, right, because it's vertical, but my F1y is going to be minus 200 pounds. Right? Because as we see, it is it is going down opposite to my y-axis. Very good. We can also do the same thing for F2, right? And uh, for F2, we have that my F2x, well, that's going to be the, uh, based on this triangle we're going to have that in the x direction, when it goes 4 in this direction, it goes 5 in that direction. So it's going to be 4 fifths of the magnitude of the force times 100. And I believe this gives me 80 pounds. My F to Y is going to be equal to, um, that will be in this direction, so it will be 3 over 5. 3 over 5 times 100, and I think this is 60 pounds. Very good. So I'm doing this uh, scalar analysis. We can also do it vector analysis. We're going to uh, obtain the same, same answers. All right, so I have my components uh, for both forces. If I want to find the, um, the resultant force at A, what I need to do is, remember, we're going to move those two forces at A, and we need to add a moment. So the resultant force is just going to be adding those two forces, right? So I can say that my Rx, uh, which is the total force at A, 
um, is going to be equal to 0 plus 80, so that is 80 pounds. Our y uh, will be minus 200 <coughs> and plus 60. That 200 comes from here, from the F1y, right? That's negative because it's going down. And this um, uh, will give me minus 140 pounds, right? If you want to write this in Cartesian vector form, yes, it will be ADI minus 140j pounds. So either way, it's kind of the same, the same idea, the same information. All right, the next step is to take is to take the moment of those forces about a basically because if I do a couple right if I add those two forces up and down like we did it uh, in the concepts video uh, then I need to find the moment that this f1 force produces the body all right so since we have the perpendicular distance is going to be three times 200 and based on my right hand rule this is going to be a negative moment so my moment Let's, let's do the M1, it's going to be negative 200 times 3 minus 600 pound feet. My moment 2, let's see, go back here to the figure. So for my moment 2, I have one force in the x direction, one force in the y direction. The force in the x direction produces no moments about a because a is in the line of action of that force. So I only have to worry about the force in the vertical direction, right? So that is my F2y. So for F2y, we have F2y times 7, right? On F2y, we said that it was, that it was 60 pounds. So it will be 60 times 7. Now let's define this sign. Is it going to be positive or negative? Well, based on my right hand rule, it is going to be this is going to be try to make it rotate uh, counterclockwise about A. So it's going to be uh, positive. So the total moment is going to be equal to minus 600 uh, plus 420. And that will be equal to minus 180 pounds foot. So what I can do is I can replace the system that we have above with a moment, right, of minus 180 pounds foot and a force that is and that's gonna get put it this way. And that force that R is going to be equal to ADI minus one forty J pounds. Just to make everything in vectors, this will be K, right? So the solution will be all in vectors. So this these two forces that we have on top. We can simplify them to a force and a, mo and a moment as shown here at the bottom.